So that was more like more like a minute and a half, but here we go. Let's talk about view templates just real quick because this is a good example of where view templates come into play. Um, this is still a very fairly simple example, but especially in the workplace, uh, I have times where actually now view templates are coming in handy an, an absolute ton. So right now, I have not created my sheet yet to which I'm gonna lay out all of my elevations and floor plans for this critical thinking exercise. So I've created the sheet right here, critical thinking exercise seven, gave it a little title. But right now I have some plans, I have some elevations that I need to place onto the sheet. So when I open up the east elevation, this is what I get. Very simple, very straightforward. Uh, it's not really showing what I want it to show on the sheet. So a couple things that I would change right away is I'm gonna change this to quarter scale. All right, so this will fit the sheet a little bit better. I'm gonna kinda tighten up my, my elevations over here on the right hand side. I am also going to change this to realistic. All right, so now we can see our materials. All right, I'm also gonna change the detailing to fine so that I see my beam system as well. And I'm also gonna turn on the shadows. Okay, so very simple shadow there, not really showing a ton. In fact, I would maybe probably want this overhanging the roof, at least overhanging the roof, or the, I'm sorry, the walls by just a bit. So let me select my roof system, edit footprint, and I'm just going to pull this out maybe a foot on both sides. This has nothing to do with view templates, but it's just me being picky. Okay, so make that, give it a little bit of an overhang. Yes, I do. Okay, so that looks good. So let's go back to my elevation. I'm gonna go back to the east elevation, have a little bit of a shadow line there. That looks good. And this is ultimately what I want. So what I did is I made, I changed about four or five different settings to make my elevation look that I want, the way that I want it to look. Now the reality of the situation is, is I could probably, if I was working on this in a work environment, there are probably 10 to 15 settings that I'd probably adjust to get that uh, elevation looking just right. I'd probably go through, look at my shadows in terms of uh, where their location is. Come on. Uh, why is that not working? But I would go through and I would adjust where my shadow is, whether I want it coming from the left, whether or not I, come, I want it coming from the right. Um, let me show you where that would actually happen. Okay, so I'm gonna turn on my sun. I'm gonna go to sun settings, and right here I have the option to have my shadow or my sunlight from the left or from the right. Usually in my workplace, I consistently do it from one of those directions so that my shadow, regardless of where it actually is in real life, but I want a consistent shadowing and a consistent color on all of my elevations because the way Revit works is, depending on where that sun is, it will actually reflect how your material actually looks. So I might have this nice robust red on my on my building. Well, depending on where that sun is, it might look real bright red, it might look kind of a dark red, and I want that to be consistent through all of my elevations. So which is why I pick something like top right, I hit apply, and I know that shadow is gonna be consistent on every elevation that I choose, okay? So I might spend five or 10 minutes going through and dialing in that elevation so that it actually looks the way that I want it to look on my sheet, okay? So once I like that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to view templates and I'm gonna click on apply template process to current view. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna save every setting that I have manually updated on this particular view and it's gonna create a template, okay? So I'm gonna apply template to view and I'm gonna go ahead and click on, uh, let's see. Uh, did it already create it for me? Delete, duplicate. Usually there's another button right here. Or did it already create one? It may have already created one for me. Maybe it was architectural elevation. Let me go through. Let me look at what my view templates are now. Okay, there's already a bunch there. Okay, so I'm gonna go to view templates and I'm gonna click on, sorry, not apply, which is what I said earlier. I'm gonna click on create template from current view. Okay, and I'm gonna type in uh, elevation template. All right, I'm gonna hit okay. All right, so there it is right there, elevation template, and that took all of the settings that I just did, including the shadows, location of the sun, uh, my, my, my view details, my, uh, 
my view, or I'm sorry, my detail view right here, the fact that I changed that to fine. I also, it also saved my visual style, all of my sun settings, all of my shadow settings, etc. Okay, so now that's a view template. If I go over to my north elevation, again, it looks real basic and plain, okay? Now my goal would be, instead of going through and manually making all of those changes again, I'm gonna go over to my properties dialog box, I'm gonna go over to view template, and I'm just gonna change it to elevation template, the one that I just created. And I will now have all of those exact same settings that I had just added to this particular view. From where did you want to select that? Right here. So I went over to uh, view template and I clicked on that oh. and, I ch and I selected the template <clears throat> that I created on the initial uh, step. Now, the only thing you have to keep in mind is when you're working with view templates is that I can no longer make individual edits to this view without removing the view template. So the other nice thing about view templates though is that they are global changes. Let's say um, tomorrow I come back and I don't really like the shadow line anymore. Well, if I go into my view template and I change that shadow line, it will change it in all of my elevations. And a, and a good example of where this works really well for is I have a project in Lathrop where I have something like 350,000 square feet of retail I have eight pad buildings on this, all these different restaurants and retail buildings, and then one big massive chain of retail. And all together in this whole package, I've probably created about 40 elevations, okay? And I have a view template that I've created though for all of them. So I know that every color, whether the red is used on one of my little pad buildings or it's used on a building all the way on the other side of the site, it's gonna be represented exactly the same in my sheet. So when I print it, I don't have four different variations of red depending on where my sun is is setting. So that really becomes helpful and saves a lot of time once you kind of dial in that template. And you would do the same thing for floor plans and you know all of your detail views, wall sections. Uh, you kind of create uh, you create some rules that generally work for you that you, all you have to do is just turn on that view template and a lot of times it'll clean it up by itself in a matter of just one click. Okay? So does that make sense? So that's good for my north elevation. I can go through, do the same exact thing. I'm going to, so like right now I can't even see my beams, but if I just change my view template to architectural template or elevation template, there's that elevation. Go to west, change my view template, boom. All right, and I'm done. And it changed my scale, detail level, view style, etc. So now that I've done that, I can go over to my sheet and I can start to plop these on and they're ready to go. How did you make it? How did you set the uh, elevation settings? How did I set the elevation settings? What do you mean? The way you created the, the very first step, I mean, you mentioned that you go to the video and then the view template. Right, that's it. Okay. Yep. So I'll do that one more time really quickly. So as soon as you get all your settings dialed in the way that you want to, you're going to go up to view templates, create template from current view you'll name that template and hit OK. And that's now, it'll be an option every time you want to add a template to an elevation over here in your properties properties box. Okay? All right, keep going on that critical thinking exercise.